All right, I just want to say thank you to Taj Tariq Bay. This is for all Moors, people and circumstances. I'm going to read a writ that I just created based on Taj's um, words and research. Thank you, Taj. So anyways, we're dealing with a matter, and this is what we wrote. Um, I suggest you include um, uh, the Constitution, Article 4, Section 4, the Constitution, Article 6, um, and um, I think it's Section 1, and the Constitution, Article... Um, one section ten. All right, I come in good faith here and for the record and one proper person as a living flesh and blood Moabite sentient being Suri heiress, heir to the vast estate, um, maroon Moabite, also known as now known as an allodial title Moorish American national. As such, I require you to settle and discharge this matter at hand immediately. As it appears um, that the person's name goes in here is um, being targeted um, by said um, corporation um, organizations, um, and hence they require guided guidage and um, uh, an advocate. Also, I didn't put that those words in, but add that. And as such, I require this matter dismissed at once. And are all parties below have them um, call. All parties involved and that um, and responsible for this set up and have them stand down all charges now anyways I went on to write um, what Taj just um, gave which was pretty cool um, also keep in mind that let me see if I can read that part to you as well um, if you're aware that um, okay um, this is just some private stuff I'm skip over that um, let me see hang on a second here it goes on to say that the parties being falsely accused um, by um, communist fraudulent um, genocide racketeering agents claiming a purported debt where no injury um, in um, injured party exists and that um, being said um, yeah the United States is supposed to be the party that's supposed to be present United States District of Columbia Military Service Corporation and the London District and all their agents there, as they're posing as deputy, deputy knights, acting as Jesuits for the um, Pope, as for the Jesuit Popes of Rome, and as the religious and friend, financial branches are the two above stated. Um, I'm going to skip over some other parts there, the lawyer's name. And um, anyways, he just gave us some really cool information here, which I thought was pretty pertinent some questions to ask them um, you're gonna start off by entering their oath into the matter um, are they foreign agents foreign um, infiltrator judges um, ask these questions um, ask them to send us the document certified of the del of their delegation of authority issued to them by the Congress the United States Republic North America relative to the signature stated so, um, signed on the on the matter um, serve to the particular party proof that person's proof of that person's nationality and proof of their political allegiance and delegation of authority in their organization for is their or, organization foreign or domestic and send the authority of branch that they represent um, branch of government that issued authority to them um, and the reference number that issued the certificate that certificate to them and where is their corp in, their um, thing of incorporation, their um, letters of incorporation, where is their registration number, can it be verified, and what juncture did the Constitution establish them, where did the Constitution establish their branch of government, as we did not notice it on the said um, claim that they're purporting or possible debt because it's all the same they're asking for a body to pay a particular debt when the lawful money gold and silver has already been removed from circulation as per house joint resolution 192 june 5th 1933 and that if um, this writ in nature of discovery is not satisfied in 10 days consider the instrument that was sent to this particular party not lawful and at, an attempt at extortion and misrepresentation if not um if not this please respond in kind for the persons who issued this instrument have them come forward and prove their claim of authority because remember in any um, if this is a bill or a charge can they can someone print counterfeit money which is Federal Reserve fiat um, uh, not which is not gold or silver 
and um, to satisfy debt as foreign agents and then turn around and try to charge another party um, asking them for their physical body at the straw man um, in this case a nom de guerre to pay for whatever it is whatever charges no it's a fraud it's extortion um, and then we just go on to read the Constitution article 6 here you can look up that for yourself and add that to it and then the assumption is any particular um, contract there's a four corners of a contract it must be valid it must have um, mutual consent it has to have some kind of substance and it must be signed and sealed otherwise it's fraud, it's fraud void and can be void ab initio void from the beginning so go back research this um, this is just a great writ and I just um, create I'm gonna send this off to um, the party right now for this matter to get rectified thank you and have a great day subscribe like us um join i don't know if you want to like this but join on um patreon and have a great day thanks taj